This Android phone has Waze installed, but if we look through connection there, you can only see a Google Maps. But if we cycle through the phone, you can see there that Waze is available. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Waze installed and Android Auto and actually working through screens. So whether that's with Ford, Lincoln, if you are on any manufacturer, Kia, Hyundai, whatever the case may be, this is going to work across the board. All right. So what you're going to do on your phone is simply swipe and you're going to go into Android Auto. Perfect. From Android Auto, you're going to look at your Android Auto settings. Now, the first thing that you can do, the easiest one, which may be the case for you, is that dropping down inside of Customize Launcher. You might see Waze on the very bottom. So if Waze is there, you're going to enable it. And then with Waze enabled that way, I'm just going to turn on Android Auto again. And through the screen in a few seconds there, just going to go through. And you can see that Waze is now available. But if for whatever reason you can't see Waze through this screen, you're just going to jump back. You're going to scroll down until you get to the version number at the very bottom. You're going to tap 10 times. Because what we're doing is we're entering developer mode. Once you're in developer mode, you're then going to go to the very top of the screen and go into developer settings. And if you scroll down, you're going to see unknown sources along the very, uh, very bottom right side. Just make sure that unknown sources is checked. When it's checked, when it's enabled, you're just going to close down, launch back into Android Auto, and then launching back into Android Auto, going to go to Android Auto settings, and then, same idea, customize launcher, and then you should see Waze enabled there. If you don't see Waze because it's unchecked, it's going to be at the very bottom. So it's saying restart Android Auto to take into effect, but you're just going to recheck it, and then you're set to go there. So it has added it back in, and then you do have the flexibility of customizing the launcher. So you can just do a drag and drop in order to kind of customize it and create it and make it kind of your own. Now it's not dynamic though. So in order to be able to custom or have your changes set, you actually have to get out of Android Auto on both the phone and the vehicle. So let's just make this easy and just unplug. And I'm just going to plug myself back in. And when I launch back into Android Auto, boom, just a second there. does happen sometimes with Android Auto, so just going to unplug, replug. There we go. So launched again, back home, and boom. Waze is installed, and those basic customization options we made to the screen are now there. And that's how you can set up Waze through Android Auto. But if you ran into any problems, drop down in the comment section below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.